Hello YouTube, Eric Weaver here, Sea Smoke Pipes. Good morning to you. It is Tuesday morning. I'm not sure what time. Almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Just kind of having a lazy couple of days. It was raining all day yesterday. I didn't feel like doing much. Did a little work on some pipes, but not a lot. Today I think I'm going to get some some stems um, drilled out, partially made for some future pipes. A little housekeeping. This morning I'm smoking my Paul's Cayuga oil cured pipe that I got from Monty 53. And in it I am smoking the Country Squires Cowboy Coffee which I also got from Monty. These were uh, surprise gifts that he sent me for Easter. Very much appreciated. I saw a review, our first impressions of this blend this morning from Let My Cameron Go. And uh, I've only got a small sample of this. I've probably had four or five bowls of it so far and I gotta say I think it's excellent. It's uh, has kind of a cocoa sweetness mixed with a dark fired Kentucky and some Virginia in there and uh, it's really good. It's just it's just really good. It's not insanely complex but it's just a really solid tobacco. I'm pretty impressed with it. Anyway this morning I was just messing around with my little handmade or homemade can joe. This is an old tobacco tin that I uh, take, that I basically screwed into an old axe handle. Got my old wooden nickel there. Little tuner, a bolt for the for the nut and some fret wire. This was kind of a fun project. I kind of like the idea of making instruments out of junk. It's just a one string. Um, it's just fun. It's just fun. So anyway, thanks for indulging me in that. Um, I'm not really a musician. I can't really play any specific songs, but I like to tool around. <clears throat> and uh, anyway, that's a little hobby I picked up in the last couple months, but I'm taking it slow on it because I don't need another hobby that I completely immerse myself in. That's just something I'm doing for fun. I might make some more. I have some other... Um, tobacco tins I want to try. Maybe some old Prince Albert velvet tins. Or a couple old beer cans. Anyway, something different. I'm actually playing that more than my banjo these days. Just because it's it's fun. I was going to do a live stream this morning, but that kind of eats up a lot of time and I don't always have a lot to talk about. So I thought I'd just do a little uh, sit sit and chat with my morning pipe and coffee. Hmm. This is a good blend. You know, I usually like to smoke some Virginia Flakes in the morning, but this is very tasty. You know, I don't like a very complex blend in the morning. I like something that is dependable, tastes like tobacco. Sometimes I like something a little sweet in the morning. Occasionally I will like a light English blend. But in general, I kind of like just uh, something to ease myself into the day. Something I don't have to sit and think about and analyze and all that, you know. I'm okay with tobacco that is subtle. Some people might even call boring. This one I wouldn't call boring at all, but 
um, like blends like Sutliff 507C. Some people just think it's really bland and boring, but I think it is uh, a quality tobacco for the price. It's like an economic blend and it's dependable and consistent and it has it has enough of what I'm looking for you know especially in the early in the early hours of the day I don't need anything that is going to confuse my palate you know I want something that that wakes me up gently and doesn't kick me in the teeth normally Every once in a while I will smoke a heavier Latakia blend in the morning, but that's pretty rare. I do that more when I'm camping, shaking off the cold from the tent, you know. What else do I, what else can I talk about this morning? Sipping a little coffee here. Got some pipes I'm working on. And you guys have seen those before. Some bamboos I'm slowly working on. I need, I should, I've been planning on starting a couple new pipes this week, but I'm kind of easing off on my pipe making a little bit lately. Kind of just taking it a little slower, if that's possible. I think pretty soon I'm going to go into pottery mode because in June I have that wood fire workshop that I do and I haven't thrown any pots. I haven't thrown many pots this year. I have a lot of pottery sitting around but I haven't made a lot of new stuff. And I know you guys are always asking for mugs. So I need to switch gears um, at some point here and get... Uh, get my pottery making going again. Mm. Picked up a couple of old issues of the Pipe Smokers Ephemeris the other week on eBay. Usually these, they ask quite a lot of money for these but I found two of them that weren't marked at crazy prices and I didn't have these issues so I snapped them up for the collection. These are always interesting to read. It's mostly just members writing in. And if you don't know about the Pipe Smokers Ephemeris, you should look it up. Tom Dunn, the, the editor and publisher of this, was uh, a really cool guy. Um, you basically would send this to you free of charge or donations accepted and uh, it was just outstanding people wrote in from all over the world all about different pipes stuff about Sherlock Holmes any tobacco related stuff and it was just a total labor of love and unfortunately he passed away I think it was 2005 if I remember correctly but I was lucky enough to become an official member in the last issue and I and uh, Tom Dunn was kind enough to send me a pretty good stack of back issues when I joined and I guess when he passed away one of his wishes was that nobody revive it you know and nobody tries to start it up again which is kind of sad, but I can respect it. So if you see anybody reprinting stickers or somehow reprinting those articles, um, just know that that's not, those weren't the wishes of the creator. But I do miss it. It was a really cool thing. I miss... I miss the Pipe Smokers Ephemeris and I really miss Pipes and Tobacco magazine. That was an outstanding magazine. But you can still get the um, the news, the bi-monthly newsletter from the North American Society of Pipe Smokers and I encourage you guys all to join that. 
I just really like having books and physical things to look at and hold. Yeah, this cowboy coffee is excellent. Um, it's got that little cocoa sweetness. Um, some deep, dark, fired flavors in there. Gives it some good body. Really good tobacco. I'll try to pick some more of this up in the future sometime. So I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'm doing okay. Just uh, hanging in there, you know. I'm set to get my second vaccine shot on Friday, and I hope I don't feel sick because we're planning on going out of town for a little weekend getaway. And chances are I'm going to feel kind of lousy. But maybe not. I don't know. I don't get sick easily, so I don't know how much that second vaccine will affect me. So those are things I'm thinking about. A little bit of a different view for you guys today. This is my desk. I'm sure some of you guys have seen before. A bunch of stem material up there. All kinds of doodads and what have you. Been a lot of rain here in the last day. I'm not sure if it's going to rain today. I kind of hope not. But spring is springing. Um, we do have some flowers up, some daffodils, the crocuses came up. So things are greening up. I'll probably be mowing the lawn within the next couple weeks. I'm not super anal about my lawn. I mow it when I have to. I don't. I'm not out there with the scissors or anything. But I'm looking forward to some sunshine and some bike rides and uh, getting outside. I should have prepared better and wrote a list of all these new channels that I've been noticing. There's been a lot of new channels that I've just recently discovered. So that's good. The YTPC is alive and well. I think I'm coming up on 700 subscribers, but I don't think I'll do a giveaway for that. I just did one at 600, or I was a little over 600 when I did it. So I'll probably wait till 750 or 800, I don't know, we'll see. I don't know why you guys really want to watch me anyway, but I'm, I guess I'm happy that you do. It's always kind of a weird thing putting videos out here that anyone can see. It kind of makes me a little uneasy. But I really enjoy talking to all you pipe people. So, you guys take care. Happy smokes. And uh, I'm going to finish my morning bowl and check to see if there's any good videos to watch this morning and hopefully get a little work done. So take care. Happy smokes. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.